Hey y'all, it's your girl Why the G, and thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. So I kind of wanted to make this video mainly because in the community, the birth worker community in which I work in, I have been getting a lot of requests for advice and consultations about the doula business and what it takes really to have a successful one. And so within the years of my work as a birth worker, I have seen a lot and learned a lot and I've learned a lot from the mistakes of myself and other sisters of how to make our birth worker business grow and valuable to the communities in which we serve and part of our work entails a lot of educating um, most of our communities of how valuable we are um, the value that we offer to our moms mentally spiritually physically the families and in turn the communities that we serve is immense so much so that if you can see around you there's a lot of corporations and institutions who are now trying to profit off of the work of birth workers um, for example why there's so many bills being passed or whatever for birth workers to be accessible for communities honey we've been here and if that's the case pay us you know pay us and don't limit us in the work that we do or the certifications that we have or don't have because we've been doing this work our ancestors have been doing this work and if you do not know the history of doulas and birth workers and midwives in america alone you should look it up and you should see how many women were very lucrative and successful in the business of birth because they had no choice than to provide the service to our communities and so um the hospital or the people who had that in mind they saw that there was so much money to be made in that community in that industry and they took it over and that's why so many granny midwives were incarcerated and killed and isolated from society and deemed unworthy or uneducated um to provide the services in which they were doing for years and years and years in this country a lot of the traditional work of midwifery has not died we have not gone anywhere we have just been doing our work behind closed doors because we're not gonna let our people die in our communities and so something came up so I'm going to address that particularly what birth workers need to focus on when it comes to their clientele their flow of clientele as a doula I know that it is not easy to solely live in the solely live based on the money that we are making in some of these cities and states that we are serving for one we need to educate ourselves about money the way we see it we need to educate ourselves about the worth that we are offering our clients through our work and if you do not believe that your work is worth more than what you think it is you need to reevaluate re how you view money and how you serve your clientele if you really believe that you can work for free as a birth doula, honey, you're probably not giving it your all. And let me be very clear when I say this, that when we have a part-time job or a full-time job and also do our best to be a birth doula, if we're exhausted from our full-time job, our children, our husbands, our families, our communities, our responsibilities of life, period, and then go and then try to be a part-time doula, you will not be able to provide the immense amount of support because you're already drained from everything else that you're doing and that goes with anything the multitasking shit is you know bs it's not good to be a jack of all trades and a master of none so it's very important to identify if birth work is something that you really want to get into and being a birth worker whether that means you're a doula breastfeeding consultant midwife blah 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 etc that means that you at one point have to fix yourself in your life to make that a full-time thing or to make that something that is your main focus and everything else become a part-time you know and i know I'm, I'm it's not easy trust me but you have to find the balance in which you will get there um and figure it out and i noticed that a lot of um birth workers especially in new york tend to kind of not be able to serve their clientele fully because there's way too much going on not the money doesn't add up the um, you know you have to work three jobs in order to then pay for your education as a doula and then your products as a doula and then provide service and then get underpaid 
for the service, it makes no sense. We have to change this narrative. We have to change um, the way we are structuring our business and we have to value our business and take a lesson on marketing, on business, on sales, period. I know the work that we do, do not get me wrong, is extremely sacred and special and it is very spiritual. But this goes into my next point. As doulas, I have always known that it is not smart to take on multiple clients who are doing the same month. And it is because when we do our kind of work, especially when we work with a community that um, mainly focuses on natural birth, um, natural birth can take up to three days. Whether you're at home with the mom and helping her through the laboring process within those first 24 to 48 hours, understand that you are on call, on guard the whole time. So even if you take a nap, even if you get some rest, you are not fully rested because you have to be more aware than everybody else who's really not even there um, mentally, physically, and emotionally. You are the gatekeeper of the energy in that room. So for you to take on three to four of those jobs in one month and still have to live a whole nother life outside of that, that is insanity. That is not fair to your health and you cannot serve anybody unless you serve yourself first. If you do not put your health first, your sleep first, your self-care first, there's no way you're going to be able to provide a quality service to your pregnant mom and her family. So I definitely advise moms, um, sorry, I definitely advise birth workers, especially doulas, to be a little bit more cautious in the way that they're taking on clients. If you are taking... Um, one, I usually take one to two clients a month, and that is because I do have other responsibilities on my plate at the moment because I have certain goals that I'm trying to meet at a certain time in my life. And <clears throat> running my own business and working on my own without like a backup doula and stuff like that, I solely rely on myself. So I would take um a client in the beginning of the month who's due like the beginning of the month and then a client who's probably due at the end of the month so i know that if something were to happen if it's a completely natural birth and i'm up for 24 hours straight i still have one to two days after to recover and that won't affect my next client whether she has complications or not i'll be completely prepared two three weeks later to deal with her and be able to provide a quality service for her so this is just a short little snippet of how I am deciding to kind of narrate my YouTube channel and share with you all the amazing life of birth workers because I am really learning as I am branding myself that and I continue to brand myself that I am not just a birth worker as a doula. Everything that I do, I am birthing new opportunities for myself or for the people in my community and it is beautiful to see but it's also such a responsibility that I realize I have to educate those around me because naturally I was born to be an educator. And I feel that it is important that I continue to pass on this information um, from my learning from my mistakes and wanting to really see women of color who are birth workers progress and be valued for their work as birth workers because we take on way too much and oftentimes leave ourselves in the back ignored and under so much stress and often giving way too much of ourselves and not preserving enough for ourselves so thank you for watching this and if you have any questions or comments about birth work sex education my brand why the g uh please comment below and let me know what you think let me know if you want me to tackle any topics in per se but visit my new website www.whythegee.com that's Y-T-H-E-G dot com. And we have amazing new products there too, especially for birth workers. You should check it out. Thank you. Peace. Like, subscribe, and share.